How'd you like the brand new Star Wars, John? Oh, I, I thought it was fantastic, actually. That's that's great. Try not to tell me about it or spoil it for me because I got kicked out. Because you showed up as a character from the Outer Rim. The, the Outer Rim is only addressed in like the novels, like the old novels that are considered expanded universe. Well, Disney erased all of those. They memory hold all of the old novels, so they're no longer canon anymore. Which I didn't know about until they were dragging me out of the theater, and I was dressed as, as obviously as you can see, I'm, I'm dressed as... Homie Dollar. Yeah. Which is a distant relative of Queen Amidala. This is definitely expanded universe for she, sure. She had a great great uncle, twice removed, right. named Almidala. Yeah. Almidala gave birth. Well he he sired. He didn't he give sired. birth. He, he sired. He sired with a common woman and then that was Amidala's cousin. Yeah, but they didn't appreciate my expanded universe. I appreciated it. I knew exactly who you were going for because I've read all those books. Well, the, technically, they knew exactly who I was going for, too, which is why they literally dragged me out of the theater, kicking and screaming, because they, uh, like I said, memory hold this character, and they don't want it to exist. I mean, you read 1984. They unpersoned me as a character. Oh, my dollar. Yeah, they drank the mouse Kool-Aid, and they just reacted. They saw, and they reacted. Oh, my dollar became... Uh -huh. I mean, nothing. Yeah, the bottom um, dropped out of that currency, out of that currency of that character. I need a whole wheelbarrow of these just to buy a just to buy a slice of bread. Yeah, you can probably buy part of a Bitcoin with it. You think so? Yeah. They're going down in value. Bitcoins are not going down in value. They're only going to go up. Well, there's nowhere else to go but up, just like Disney right now. You don't think that they have anywhere to go but up? They are, they are worth so much, they own everything. True. But they disowned me, so technically I am a free agent. I feel like you're taking this a little bit too personally. Well, you would take it personally too if you got dragged out of the brand new end of an era Star Wars movie, and now you're for sure gonna get a spoil for it. Well, here's the thing, I wouldn't get dragged out, all right? Because I would pick a character that actually has a lightsaber. I see you didn't even wear a costume. Where's your Star Wars spirit? Where's your dedication? I'm Slave Leia. Oh. Well, this is what you normally wear, though. Yeah, on the outside, I'm Slave Leia. Underneath, I'm actually Bosk the Bounty Hunter. Oh, uh, okay. Is that another expanded universe, or did you just name oh, yourself? He's he's canon. He stands next to Boba Fett and Empire Strikes Back, and until they remake the first three, he's canon. They're pro they probably have plans to remake the first three, because they're still casting a long shadow over the last six. I think that the last one's going to be good. I really do. Because they spent $4 billion on this. Well, if they were going to tie it together, they should have started tying from the very beginning instead of hiring 12 directors and re-shooting the movie 600 times. I agree. And discontinuing me as all my dollar because obviously we want to know the origin of Amidala and we didn't get that and everyone was clamoring for it. You know who I want an origin story for? Who? R2-D2. We never found out. No, he just he's just there. Like, we're like I want to see R2-D2 when he comes fresh off the astromech assembly line. Do you think Anakin built him too? I don't think so. Maybe it was Palpatine. <laughs> You think it was the Emperor built R2-D2? Yeah, so my new theory is that R2-D2 is the Horcrux for Emperor Palpatine. That's interesting. I actually never liked the name Palpatine because it sounds too much like the shampoo Pantene. It also sounds like a, like a tea that old people would drink. Ah, Palpatine, your afternoon, early evening BM medication. That's what Palpatine sounds like to me. I agree with that. Side effects include force lightning, choking people, hysterical laughter, like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Palpatine. It also sounds like, oh, palp, a, palp, a palp, palpitating, palpitations, heart palpitations. Yeah. Like a heart condition. Right. The Palpatine rabbit. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That would be an amazing story. <laughs> the Palpatine <laughs> rabbit. He's just a fake... Sith Lord, but then like the kid gets hay fever, <laughs> and he's like going to throw into the fire, and he's like, Aah! he's like, this accident has left me scarred and deformed. Maybe that's actually the inspiration for Jar Jar Binks, because you have you heard the Jar Jar Sith Lord? Yes, theory? I've heard this theory. Yeah, I believe it. 
I believe Jar Jar is the actual Sith Lord. I think he was the cause of Palpatine. But because of the reaction fans gave, they backed out of it. I think we would have got a more complete prequel trilogy if people hadn't complained so loud about Jar Jar being so annoying. You know it's weird though, if you look at some of those Star Wars Instagram accounts, like the, the younger kids, they love Jar Jar. The way that you and I love the Ewoks, like they love Jar Jar like that. I've heard, but that's only because they're stupid and we are right. Na, 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 na. I remember it. I, I, I know I've heard it. What's the end theme for the first one? Where do they get their medals? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, R2 is definitely the Horcrux for Palpatine. He built that little droid. You know what's messed up? is like they could have just asked R2-D2 where Luke was that entire time. That was, like again, the last, one of the last Jedi things. I was like, wouldn't he just... Uh, he would know, right? I mean, because Luke, Luke programmed and Maybe he was like, shh, don't tell anybody. He could have wiped it. He could have wiped it. That's true. Or That's he, true. But... R2 was always, he was always keeping secrets. Like, remember? Yeah, when he's he, like, bitch, that guy knew who Darth Vader was. You know what I mean? He, he knew who Darth Vader was and didn't say anything the entire time. Think about it, because, like, he, he saw Anakin. Well, so did C-3PO. Right. He knew who Darth Vader was the whole time. Right, he's like, by the way, Luke, I think I might know a little something about your opponent. Like, here's a schematic. Here's his history. But, obviously, if he was built by Anakin, he wouldn't betray the secret because he was programmed not to. Same with R2-D2, which is why he's got to be tied, because they would both know the secret of Anakin and Palpatine, both. Right. Right. That makes sense. They are totally bringing it back around to R2-D2 and C-3PO, and they're going to reveal Jar Jar as the mastermind Sith Lord. You think so? Totally. Uh, fingers crossed, Disney. Fingers crossed. But don't spoil the movie for me because I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet either. I thought you just came out of it. Not the last one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. The one that I got kicked out of. Yeah, you got kicked out of that movie. I'm a dollar. 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 Ooh. I'm a dollar. Ha 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 